Now let's remesh the claws. And I know we're spending a lot of time here in ZBrush here at the beginning of this, just kind of looking at the geometry that we already have. And the reason for that is I don't want to waste any of the work that I've already done. If you already have some of this geometry, it makes sense to me to look and see what you can reuse versus creating the same thing over and over again. Sometimes you certainly have to do that. It can give you the best result, but I don't want to miss any chances to make life a little bit easier on myself. So for this one, let's uh, go ahead and take the claws. And in this file, I have the claws, toe claws, and then the horns and the beak. And let's go ahead and move the subtools all up next to each other. And I'm just going to combine them by going to the top one, going to merge, and I'm going to merge down. And then I'll merge down again. And then one more time just to put them all in the same subtool. All right. And now I'm going to go into geometry. Let's go to Z remesher, make sure that Dynamesh is turned off. And I want to get up close to a few of them at least and kind of get a good idea. These are nice because they're really just uh, cones and you could rebuild these very easily using Retopo and Maya and we may end up doing that. But I want to get some version of this out just in case I need it. So let's go ahead and say half and we will hit Z remesh. All right, that cleans things up a little bit. Let's do it again. And you can look at some of the other pieces if you want. Claws down here. And you're going to be able to go pretty low on this still have the shape there. All right. So once you get it to a point that you like, the next thing that we can do is take any of the geometry that we have that we want to reuse and export it. And we haven't touched really any of the clothes. We're going to look at the, uh, the original Maya file that we used to build this and, and you can reuse geometry from that as well. And so once we've got the resolution like we want, we can then do a quick UV map, UV master, and let's just unwrap our claws again, just giving us a starting point. All right. We can also come in here on this piece, this one right here. And let's take a look if we have any levels on this. I'm going to go down to the lower level. Let's delete higher. And I'm going to do a quick remesh on this one as well. So let's go Z remesher. We'll start with same. And then let's kind of half that. So we still get some of the model geometry in there. Go ahead and call this sash high. So once you've got all of these pieces for the main body created, we can turn on our clothes and then we can take a look at any of this geometry that we want to output. I think the, the cowl here is something that we can output a higher res version versus having the low res because it is so detailed. I don't want all of the, the detail and we are going to be close to it. I don't want to try to get all the detail from a map. And so I'm going to have this be a little bit of a, of a higher res. The medallion, on the other hand, we can get a lot of detail uh, because this is a kind of a flat surface. We can actually get a lot of detail, uh, assuming that we pay attention to the silhouette. But here I want to have a little bit more detail on this just so I can uh, make this look a little bit more realistic. So let's go ahead next and finish creating some base geometry and then we'll export it out.